Wow. Welcome to service. It's a good thing to give thanks to God. Thank God for sparing our lives, our families, our loved ones, and for preserving our nation, Nigeria. I'm happy to see you. Today is the first Sunday in June. It's a good thing to give thanks to God. We're in the sixth month already. Can you imagine? What about your goals? Where have you dropped them? I hope you have not dropped your goals somewhere. Are you reviewing them? Are you checking on them? Today we are going to have a wonderful time in God's presence. Get, go get your Bible. Go get your writing materials. Today we are going to learn about following Jesus. How to be a good leader. I believe you want to be a great leader and you are called to be a great leader. But before we go to the service, we'd like to pray. After our prayer, then we join the praise team to give God a quality praise. Shall we bow our head and pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for today. Thank you for preserving our lives. Thank you for the first six months. This is the sixth month in the year. You preserved us. You preserved our family. Today we are alive and well. Thank you for our nation. Thank you for our pastors. Thank you for our parents. And we thank you for ourselves. As we start this service, Spirit of God, we ask you to breathe upon us. Let us be a good leader the way Jesus is. Open our eyes to your word. Give us understanding of the scripture. Thank you, Lord, that at the end of this service, we'll become a better Christian. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So, friends, I'll be back. Let's go and praise the Lord. Not a question, please. Remember today's first, first what? First Sunday in June. So you go and wear your dancing shoe. Let's boogie it. Let's dance and praise the Lord. I'll be back. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. It's time to praise the Lord. Amen. Woo!
Welcome back. Today we are starting a new series which says, Be a leader, follow Jesus. That's our theme for the month of June and July. Be a leader, follow Jesus. But today we are going to look at Jesus, our role model. Jesus, our role model. Who is a role model? A role model is someone you look up to, you imitate, you want to be like. I know you have so many role models. Some people have uh, Mother Teresa as their role model. Some people have uh, Dibanj as their role model. Some people have uh, President Buhari as their role model. We're not talking about physical role model now. We are talking about the spiritual role model. We are narrowing it down to Jesus, who is the complete role model. So we want to study his life. What, was, what did he do when he walked the earth? What can we imitate from him? Another word for imitation is learn. Imitate means learn. What else can we learn from Jesus? What can we copy from him? What are the attributes, the values Jesus exhibited while he walked the earth? That's what we want to learn today. Jesus, our role model. Our Bible text is taken from Ephesians 5.1. 
Ephesians 5 1 says, Therefore, be imitators of God as their children. Therefore, be imitators of God as their children. And the second Bible passage is taken from 1 Corinthians 11 1. Follow me as I follow Jesus. Follow me as I follow Jesus. So why, why should we follow Jesus? What are the things Jesus did that can, we can learn from? That's what we want to focus on. At the end of this lesson, we should be able to know the attribute we are to copy from Jesus. So throughout this month, we will see the life of Jesus, how he was compassionate, how he was generous, how he was, uh, 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 how he was faithful, how he did so many things. So you, you and I can now pick one or two things from the lives of Jesus. Jesus also persevered in many things. Number one, Jesus is somebody we can look up to because one, he was created, he is created in the image of God. He's God personified. He's God that came down to the planet Earth. Jesus, Jesus was not like the other role models in the Bible, like Barak, like uh, Deborah, Moses, though Moses was humble, he led the Israelite out. Esther was courageous. All these other people have short falling. They had, uh, they had uh, issues with their lives. For example, Moses had issues with anger. Esther had issues with uh, trust. So many people had different problems. But Jesus, the complete role model, had no shortfall. So that's why we are focusing on the life of Jesus. Number one, if you want to lead, you must be ready to follow. You must be ready to follow. You cannot say, I'm a leader. I'm a leader by force. I want to lead you. You must be ready to follow. While we are observing the lives of Jesus, let's see the things Jesus did. A good leader is a person who shows people what they should do. Did Jesus show us what to do? Yes, he showed us his way. He said, it's the way, is the truth, and the life. No man can come to God except by him. And while he walked the head, he showed people how to live. He loved. He gave people food. He had compassion on the people that are hungry. He, he stood up for righteousness. He was against exploiting others. That's what a good leader is. But you cannot be a good leader without being a good follower. So where you are in your house, are you following well? When your parents give you instruction, are you obeying it? Or you are saying, when I grow up, that is, when I grow up, I will also be a leader. Mm -mm. It's from now that we will know the type of leader you will become. You cannot be the class monitor of a class and be bragging and be stepping on people's legs. That is not a good leader. A good leader must be ready to serve. Jesus washed his disciples' feet. In those days, the days of Jesus, the washing of feet is left for servants, but Jesus decided to wash the disciples' feet. You can see that in John 13, verse 3 to 7. Even Peter said, Ah, ah, Lord, you are my God, you cannot wash my feet. How can the Lord be the one washing my feet? And Jesus told us that that is an example to follow. If you must lead, you must, you must serve. Leadership is service. Leadership is service. If you are not ready to serve, then don't lead. Be a follower. If you are not ready to serve, don't aspire to be the monitor of the class. Don't aspire to be the prefect. Don't aspire to be the, uh, to be, to, to be what is again, to be the captain. As a captain, as a monitor, as a prefect, you must be ready to serve, just like Jesus served. Jesus, the Son of God, God himself, is actually God. You don't, last month we talked about the Trinity. He himself is God. He came to planet Earth to serve us. He was washing the disciples' feet. Number two, he was compassionate. He fed the multitude. Mark 8, 1 to 9. People came to listen to Jesus. Probably they have stayed there for hours. And disciples said, let us send this away. away. There's nowhere to buy food for them. How can we be looking for money to buy food for them? He asked them, give them something to eat. That is being compassionate. Some of us in our house, we will know that the food is not plenty. We will eat everything. We will not even remember whether we have brother or sister. Hey, show me this food is too small. Mm -mm. Jesus wasn't like that. He remembered others. He shared with them. Let's look at our nation, for example, now. The money that was allocated to do health care, some people have put it in their pocket. Are they good leaders? So don't be like them. 
Let's even narrow it down to ourselves. You are the class captain. They gave you a, a pack of biscuits to share with your classmates. You decided, and you are like 20. And there are 20 pieces in the biscuit. You decide to take five. Are you a good leader? Are you a good leader? A good leader will be compassionate. We think about other people's interests. So in your, when you are taking your actions, in your actions, always remember others. Ask, what will Jesus do as a role model? Will Jesus think about himself alone? Will he think about others? So Jesus, as a role model, he served others. He was compassionate. Another attribute of Jesus while he walked the earth is he was humble. He was humble. Philippians 2, 5 to 14. Even though he was in the likeness of God, he humbled himself. It wasn't bragging that if you people know that I'm God, you will not be talking to me like that. Even when people were asking him, are you the son of God? He didn't say yes. He didn't say no. That is humility. Some of us, we are just class captain. The whole house cannot rest. Even your mommy cannot talk to you again. You say, don't you know that say, say our mommy is even talking to me? Don't you know I'm not a big boy? Don't you know I'm not a big girl? Ah, oh, Mr. Big Boy and Mrs. Big girl. Go and learn from Jesus. Jesus being created in the image of God. Don't forget, it's also God. When human beings die, his creations will say, who are you? Who are you, God self? Prove to us if you are the son of God. He did not say, let me show you that I'm the son of God. Let me call fire down on your head. No, he was humbled. He humbled himself. He explained things we do not know to us. So as, Jesus, as a follower of Jesus, we must be ready to serve. That's the key lesson. Jesus is our role model. Is the one we are imitating. So if Jesus is a, the person we are imitating, then we must follow his examples. Apostle Paul told the Corinthians, follow me as I follow Jesus. Can you tell your friend, follow me as I follow Jesus? Because now people don't have time to read the Bible. We are the Bible people are reading. Some people don't even know where their Bible is. Are you the, you are, you are the hand of Jesus. You are his mouth. People have not seen Jesus, but they have seen you. They know that you said, uh, my name is Shola, I'm a Christian. Don't, you don't need to tell people I'm a Christian if you're actually showing the lives of Jesus. So my question to you is, are you a child of God? Can people see Jesus in you? Can people see Jesus in our lives? And I also want to ask you another question. Would you like to be a leader like Jesus, a godly leader? Would you like people to point to you that, ah, if you see that Shola is very honest, is very humble. Whatever he says is the truth, is the truth, and is willing to serve. Jesus was not bossing around everybody and say, I'm the boss, I'm the one in charge. Don't you know I'm the president? No, you don't need to announce. A leader, people will see you. People should, as a leader, you should be approachable. As a firstborn in the house, some of us, our brothers cannot even talk to us. They come near our bed like this, he slaps, bye. Hmm. Are you a role model like Jesus? Was Jesus? And you know, don't forget though, Jesus was also the firstborn of his mother. He wasn't slapping his brothers up and down. Because if he had slapped them, it would have been recorded in the Bible. So you that you are slapping your brother, slapping your sister, slamming the door at them, you are not a good role model. Jesus loves, Jesus was compassionate, Jesus fed the multitude and he was humble. Those are the godly attributes we are narrowing down today. So the question to you is, which area are you lacking in this? So you are, the word of God has come to you as a mirror. Look at yourself. What am I lacking? Am I humble? Am I a good leader? Do I need to change? What are the areas where I need to change? So go jot them down. Areas where you need to change your behaviors, where you have been proud. Because God even hates people that are proud. Ask the Holy Spirit to teach you humility. One of the fruit of the Spirit is what? Patience. One of the fruit of the Spirit is patient. Had the Holy Spirit to help you to be patient. You can pray to God to give you this fruit of the Spirit and is ever willing to do that. Let's go to our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from Ephesians 5.1. Memory verse, Ephesians 5.1. Therefore, be imitators of God as their children. Imitators means copy God. Copy God. And I've said we are the Bible people see. So when you copy God's behavior, people will see God in you. People will want to be like you. We say, ah, that uh, for Lashadi, I like her behavior. And you'll be able to tell people, ah, it's Jesus that makes me exhibit this. I was like this, this, this before. But now, since I've had Jesus to come to my heart, 
Jesus gave me power, has given me power to exhibit good attributes. I'm now honest, I don't lie again. I'm now humble, I can help people. I'm now compassionate. That's what Jesus can help us do. But I want to ask you a question. Do you know Jesus? Because you can't make Jesus your role model if you don't know him. For example, if Mother Teresa is your role model, you must know one or two things about him. So have you asked Jesus to be your friend? Because God does not prognose into people's affairs. King She Ufufu doesn't prognose into people's affairs. So you need to invite him into your heart. You need to make him your friend. The Bible says in John, in the book of John, that as many as have believed in him, he has given them power to become children of God. So when you have Jesus as in your heart, when you receive him as your Lord and Savior, he transfers the ability to you, the power to become a child of God, the power to exhibit all the godly attributes Jesus exhibited. So friend, would you like Jesus to be your friend? And above all, he transfers eternal life into you. If you want Jesus to be your friend, can we have a word of prayer? Lord Jesus, I thank you because you loved me with an everlasting love. I've learned about you being a role model, and I want you to be my model. I want you to be my role model, but I know you can't be my friend, except I invite you. So I invite you into my heart, be my Lord, be my savior. I want you to give me power. You said as many as believed in you, you give him power to become child of God. I believe in you, so I receive that power. I say from today, I'm a good model for people to copy in the name of Jesus. Eternal life is battered inside me, and now I'm a child of God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. If you have just done that, kindly send your name, age, and location. Junior Church at this star, ng.org. That is where you send your name, age and location too. Friend, we need to pray. We need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us, all of us now, and people that have just given their heart to Jesus. Can we bow down our head and pray and say, Lord, I receive empowerment. I receive power to be good model for people. You are my role model. Help me to imitate you. Help me to imitate you as a as my mother, and let people see Jesus in me. As I go out in my daily business today, Lord, I receive power to be a good model to others. Let people see Jesus in me. Let my life exhibit the life of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for, my, for everyone watching me. Lord, I thank you for these children. I declare that the Holy Spirit empowers them to become good follower of Jesus. Let people see them, see you in their lives. In their academics, they will excel. They will be great. They will be mighty in the land. This week is blessed for them. In this month of June, doors of opportunities are open unto you. Your parents are blessed. You will not be victims of error. You will not be victim of accidents. You will excel in everything you do. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Friend, thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Thank you for your time. Until next week when we come your way, be a good mother. Follow Jesus. Bye. What would I do without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. What would I do without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. What would I do without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. What would I do without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. I would take this chance and give
without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. I will take this chance and give my all. I will take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away from you. I will never walk away.